Persona 4 Golden, we are back. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between. Uh, a lot has happened to me in the world of Persona whilst away, you know, in a different dimension. Pay no mind to that save file. That will make sense in due time. <laughs> All right, um, I think this is where we left off at, right? Well, considering that the one below that is, uh, fucking, uh, September 7th. I'm pretty sure this is a good... I'm pretty sure we left off in October, right? Yeah. Load the file. Let's do that. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, Chia and Yuko hanging out. What are you guys doing? Social links. Let's see what we got going. Maybe this is gonna help me remember. Dojima, we maxed out. Chie. Rize's at 8. Yep. Fox, 9. Okay, yeah. This is definitely the right save file. I believe it is, anyways. And today... Today's the day we can hang out with Naoto, right? That's what I was told last time. Why am I running around so slowly? I feel like I'm running around slower than usual. Maybe it's because I'm in the classroom. Alright. So, first things first. Uh, first things first. Got to head down to the what you call it, the riverbank. Got to talk to the old man. Wait, no, I think we did that already, right? We already talked to. Don't I have the bug? I should have the bug. Uh, where is it? Genji beetle, Inuma beetle. I got one. All right, yeah. So we did talk to the old man. So right now, all we're really doing is waiting for a rainy night. You can do it at night, right? Yeah, I think you can do it at night. Should be able to do it at night. But better, these, better be uh, safe than sorry. Head over to the shrine and grab ourselves another bug if we're lucky. I believe you can save scum it too if you want to. You can just reload it. See what you get. I'm surprised this didn't get harder since this game now runs at 60 frames. That was kind of late. That was a late swing. How many did I catch? I wonder. The animal grasshopper, you know, oh, there we go. All right, two. I'll take my chances with two. I can do that. That's serviceable. All right. Head back to Yasugami High. And let's see who we can hang out with. Rize. Yes. And. Oh, Nato's not here. And I's here. Hi, I. You were missing for like a whole month for some reason. I don't know why you did that, but. Eh, whatever. Oh, Senpai. Oh, senpai. Why'd you take. What? <laughs> she took forever to say that. You waited. She waited until I opened my mouth. To cut me off. That's great, Rizé. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Weird that we run into each other like this. It's school. I don't think it's that weird. Are you bored? Maybe. Wait, did it say- wait, it said we're not getting closer? What happened? Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. Damn, how many lovers do I have? Holy shit. Alright. Okay. It's not ready to advance yet. Then what the fuck am I doing wasting my time with you? What? Like, how you gonna... Well, I didn't... She didn't approach me, I approached her. But how you gonna be like, Oh, man, you come here often? This is so weird. And then just be like, Oh, by the way, I'm not ready to be... Uh, we're not We're not that close. Where's Teddy? What happened, Hanako? Eat your heart out, Yasugami girls. Here comes Hanako. <laughs> what happened to Teddy? Teddy? I kind of want to, kind of want to know what happened to Teddy. Where did he go? Maybe he's on the roof. So then you see, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't notice you were there. Go home. Uh, go. <laughs> I read that wrong. I thought she was telling me to go home now. Going home now? Later's. She's absorbed in the conversation. You should leave her alone. What about you, Yuko? Uh huh. And then what? Oh, you. I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. Are you going home now? Take care. Damn. They both looked at me and said, excuse me, motherfucker, you're not part of this conversation. G 
get the fuck out of here. Go home. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Where did Teddy go? Did Teddy just peace out? What happened? Alright, whatever. It's not important. It's not important where Teddy went. Um... It's Friday. We can study with the kid, right? On Fridays? Study with Shu? That jackass? I don't even have a tower persona. Why do I even care? Oh, I do. Wait. Wait, hold up. Oh, wait, no, this is for I. Not I, uh, what's her fucking name? Aerie. Alright, you don't gotta tell me every goddamn persona under the sun. That's... It's kinda unnecessary. Um, I guess we'll just... Fuck, fine, we'll hang out with Rize. Fuck it. Damn it. I was just gonna kind of ignore her. <laughs> but I guess not. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold up, hold up. Did I even check the, um... Did I even check the goddamn shopping district? I don't think I did. I think I just went straight to the shrine, right? Oh, here he is. Alright, cool. This is the guy we gotta talk to for now, Toe. You're... The man in black is looking at you, as if apprising you. Do you know about... It... What? Lum luminal? Luminal reactions? Okay. What part of the body do you use to test DNA? What's the best way to obtain someone's email address? Mm, laying in a little thick there, guy, huh? What ten things can you learn from footprints? The man is bombarding you with questions for some reason. With your unmatched knowledge, you answer every challenge smoothly and easily. I see, I see. You're quite an interesting young man. Do you know Nato-sama? Oh, uh... Do you know a detective by the name of Nato Shiragane, correct? I do, that I do. Yes, I know you know him. Then why the fuck did you ask? Deliver this to him. He will understand. The man in black handed you something you received. A white card. Good day, then. The man walked briskly away. This smells like a case. You should hand it over to Nato. Well, Nato's home right now, so... We're just gonna have to wait for that. In the meantime, we're gonna just stare at Rize. For like a quick second. And then... Not... Not a... Not increase our ranking. Yes, I'm here. Sure, I'll hang out with you, Rize. Why not? Just waste a bunch of fucking time. Why not? And then we went shopping. You feel your relationship is going to become closer? It better. Welcome home. It's good to be home, Nanako. You can work as a janitor tonight. That's crazy. I wait. Do I have to work on something for my stats? No, that's not the button. Here's the button. Diligence. That's what I'm working on. Um. Is there anything I need to do at night, really, right now? I'm not worried about the social links. I guess not. I guess not. I'm gonna start making some envelopes. Hey, 3,000, I'll take it. Why not? My throat feels a little raspy tonight. I gotta clear my throat. <coughs> there we go. Nah, it still feels terrible. Let me try again. <clears throat> you overhear students talking. The culture festival is going to be- Oh shit, the culture festival. <laughs> Damn it. It's gonna be Saturday and Sunday next week. There's a rumor that one of the classes still hasn't decided what they're gonna do. Yeah, that's pretty common. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up with something lame like the like the rest area. Oh shit. Only one more week left to get ready. I need to get fired up too. It's time for homeroom. 
Well, as you all know, next week is the culture festival. You gotta go to sleep, but you want to stop by and say hi. Thank you. And as Make sure you, you get your sleep. Know, we still haven't <clears throat> decided what our class is going to do for it. Speaking of sleep, I feel like I have recently become the master of sleep, mainly because I work out so much. Humble brag. I work out so much that I tire myself out and I can just sleep anywhere at any time now. Like even at work. When no one's looking, I'll hide away in a room, grab some cardboard, and I'll just lay down on it like a bum and go to sleep. You guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Man, those are our lame-ass ideas. All the... It just... You don't do anything. The break area. You just sit here. Video room. You watch video. Study room. Who... How many people actually... Like, maybe... Maybe besides, like, maybe... Maybe, like, five times out of the year. How many people actually study during study hall? Usually you just goofed around, right? <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Which one of you horny motherfuckers put that on the menu? Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Alright, fuck you, Yosuke. Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. What will you vote for? Hmm. Well, because I'm in high school and hormones be a raging. Of course. You made your selection and turned in the sheet. I'm trying to get my All dick right, wet, damn it! Count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. I wonder who did that. Second vote, group date cafe. Huh? Seriously? Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Okay, listen. Out of our whole group, it's me, Chie, Yukiko, Yo Yusuke. Somebody in this classroom is horny, horny. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. All of the votes have been counted. The group date cafe is in first. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me! This is your fault! Good job, Yosuke. I do wonder, though. Do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. Yukiko, what have you done? What have you done? Anything... Anything romantic at all, or just a little promiscuous? What have you done? Cause you're just a fucking clean sleep, sleep, sheet, whatever the fuck. What the? Clean you slate. Voted for it? Yeah, I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. Oh my god. But Yosuke's the one behind it. Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? How hard is it to decipher group date in a cafe? Just put a sign out that says couples welcome. Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude. How could Kashiwagi say no? <laughs> Horny ass Kashiwagi, you think she gonna say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. Yeah, she's busy doing something all right. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we gonna get any customers with this? Seriously? I mean, if you give discounts to... Cafe. To I like uh, relationships. If you give discounts to couples, then yeah, sure. It's like couples, couples eat half off or some bullshit. Oh my gosh! How the heck's this 
gonna turn out. Running a restaurant isn't as hard as you may think. <laughs> Take it from someone who has worked in two. One being a chain restaurant, the other one being a, uh, a local restaurant. It's a lot of hard work, though. It's not as hard as people think, but it's a lot of hard work, nonetheless. Unless you got those slow days where everyone just fucks around, you know? Oh, it's raining today. Oh, shit. Well, you know what we got? Nato! Hey, oh, wait, it's raining today. Oh, wait, no. It has to be, like, thunder, right? To go fishing for the Sea Guardian? Has to be, yeah, it has to be thunder. I think that's the highest chance. Nato seems absorbed and thought about something. It seems that you need some sort of opportunity before you can become closer. Now that you think about it, you do have a card that the man in black gave to you. Here you go, Nato. What's this? He said I'd understand. What the fuck that supposed to mean? Excuse me, but could you please accompany me for a brief period? I'd like to hear more about what transpired when you were given this card. Please, it won't take long. Simagawa floodplain. I apologize. I wanted to talk someplace quiet. So we're outside in the rain. <laughs> in the park. For all to see. Right behind a fucking road. <laughs> Come on. What sort of person gave this to you? A man who knew that I knew you. I see. Oh, I see. Which means it's possible that he's been snooping around, gathering information on you or me. Or, e or even the case. Wait, what? Oh, even the case. Okay. She means the murder case. I'm sorry. <laughs> the way it was worded confused me. The man must also know you well. He wouldn't have entrusted the delivery to anyone he didn't know. But this is a small town. He could easily have looked up my address. Why go through the trouble of giving the letter to you? Intriguing. Is he involved with this case? Or another case altogether? If it's me he's after, he could be anyone. Oh, I'll keep the card. The man is most likely still here in Inaba. I cannot drag you further into this. Girl, you can drag me wherever the fuck you want. I ain't gonna kick or scream. I will pout though. I'll sit there, cross my arms, and go, <laughs> I don't wanna go. <laughs> Let's see. I can't back out now. It's too exciting. Huh? Uh, well, it's good to know you're worried about me, but. Hmm. I apologize. I'm sorry. I seem to have a tin ear. What? What? A tin ear? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like a. Like a good sense? I don't know. I seem to have a tin ear for other people's feelings. The other get What? <laughs> Bullshit, Naoto. I can understand people's feelings. Meanwhile, Kanji's like sitting right there fucking spouting blood out his nose. And Naoto's like, I don't, I don't get this. What is this? <laughs> yes, san told me before. I'll look into this card and report my findings to you. So don't worry about me. As our leader, I know that you have a lot on your shoulders, so... Naoto seems to be worried about you. You have a completely different impression of Naoto than when you first met. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoto. Hey! Naoto joins the party too fucking late, damn it. <laughs> Every time you get Naoto, right, you get the Naoto social link, you're just like, I feel like the game's already over. You know? Like, we only have- oh my god, we only have, like... Maybe, like, two months left? <laughs> while we wait- uh, while we are here, why don't we chat a little, I guess. Ah oh, yes, there's something I wanted to ask you. Shall we go home now? We talked about several aspects of the murder and went home. So who wants to talk about murder? I do. <gasps> Hi, Nanako. I'm just gonna walk up to my room and start folding some fucking paper. You can't stop me. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I like to do. I do it in my in, in solace. 
Hey, there we go. Still not diligent enough, though. You had the day off from school. What can we do on a Sunday? Hello, it's Rise. Are you bored today? Let's go out somewhere. I'll think about it. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about it. Wait a minute. Is there something else I can be doing on Sunday right now? Thinking about it? Alright. <laughs> we'll hang out, Rize. We'll do it. I don't got nothing else to do. The hill overlooking town. You came here on Rize's solemn request. Senpai, I thought about it. Why my mind just went blank when I heard about Konami. I mean, I ran away from showbiz because I was tired of being an idol. So I shouldn't have had any problems. And yet, I felt so angry about it. Why do you think that is? I don't know. You regret leaving? I guess that's the only thing, right? I mean, they're both the same thing. But if you want to be all philosophical about it. Reset is Reset too. Put your hand on your shoulder. You nod silently. She understands. Yeah. You knew all along, huh? Then why the fuck did you ask me the question? <laughs> but really, that's how it was. Reset's name in lights. Idolized by the masses. That was me, too. I didn't want to lose that me. So Rize's social link just basically comes down to, you know what? It is what it is. There's no way to become someone else. I ran away from my plain, gloomy self. Then I ran away from my idol self. Right now, I'm the homicide detective self, I guess. I would have run away from that as well if I didn't realize. I've been trying to become how I wanted to be. I pick a role. When I'm through with it, I continue chasing the real me by picking another role. When in fact, those roles are all me. I don't want to run away anymore. I don't want to search somewhere else for myself. I'm gonna hang in there. As the complete me. That's good for you, Rize. That's amazing. I both understand and don't understand at the same time, but, you know, I, I get it, I guess. Maybe. You reach rank 9. Reza's determination in battle has been enhanced even further. She can now protect the party at times. If an ally would fall to an attack that, that hits the entire party, Reza will block it once. Once I'm per battle. I'm glad I came to this town. After all... It's where I met you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I have to go home now. <sighs> I wish time would just stop. But if time stopped, then we wouldn't be able to breathe. Light wouldn't be able to exist. People don't think about this when they think about time stop. You stop time, you go blind. You can't breathe. You can't move. <laughs> you walked Rize to her house and went home. Did I just make time stop unfun for everybody who wished they had that power? I wish to stop time! You're back! What? I can't move! I can't speak! I can't wish to unstop time! Oh no! And then you just become like cars from fucking, uh, Jojo Part 2, just drifting away in space. <laughs> Going insane. And then you just cease to think. You just exist. That's sad. That's scary. That's really scary. When you think about all the JoJo villains, it's kind of you look. The person who got it the easiest was probably Dio. At least he got to die. <laughs> At least that man died. At least he had an end. Everyone else, nah, they got no end. Your suffering will be eternal. Oh, thunder's coming. I need that. Hello. Hello, Nato. I heard from Rize-san that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter license over the summer. You may be interesting to know that I have acquired mine around the same time. It's quite a quinsky dink, ain't it? Why the hell did you get yours? A detective often needs to be in many places at once. I thought it would be useful as a means of transportation. 
Sure, yeah. I'm confident. I'm a confident cyclist. Should the opportunity arise, I'd be happy to show you how I handle a bike. You can show me how you handle everything, goddammit. Oh, the test results! Hell yeah! Time for everyone to love me because I'm so smart. Because that's what happens in the real world. The smarter you are, the more people like you, right? Right? It's not like anyone ever has any contempt towards your way and wish for your failure. You got the highest score, you damn right I did. Whoa, you're a genius, you. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I got the high- uh, got- why did I say it like that? Got the highest grade. Got the highest grade myself. Your social link friends seem to be looking at you admirably, but people who aren't your social link friends, they hate you. You feel you can become closer to your school friends. Lunch break is almost over. Slides head class. Classes have ended for today. Alright, Yosuke's here, just chilling it. Alright, um, tomorrow's the day it's gonna start raining and shit, right? I feel like I'm missing something. Hello. Like there's something I need to do. Good day, you son. Oh shit. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me, Nanzo. I'm sorry. I just remembered. <laughs> Damn it. I remember what I had to do. I gotta head to the velvet room. Now that we're hanging with Nanzo, I gotta grab me a fortune persona. Or at least fuse one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. It seems that you have completed over half of the social links. Did I? How wonderful for you. Well then, please take this. Your commitment to your social links will become your commitment to your world. I look forward to seeing your world. A metal bat. She said, now take this. And start swinging at motherfuckers. <laughs> like, Jesus. You crazy. Um, do I have a fortune persona? I should have at least one, right? Strength, Hang, Temperance, Devil, Tower, Moon, Sun, Jester, Aeon. I skipped Fortune. Cherry. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. I have no Fortune Persona. Okay, well, that sucks. What can we fuse? Boom. Some Jester, Sun, Moon, Devil, Death, Strength, for. Oh, there we go. Um. Is there one that only uses two Personas? They all use three. Oh my fucking god. Alright, cool. So, what am I getting rid of? Don't need Magician. Yosuke's done. Temperance really don't care for it right now. Emperor. I need Emperor because I'm hanging out with the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Whatchamaface-it? Kanji. Sun, Star, Lovers. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm using Lovers. Justice, Hero, Sun. Oh, that's way better. Justice Lover Hero, Justice Magician's Lover, Star Lover's Hero, Hermit Moon Temperance. Oh wait, no, that's Strength. Okay, we'll go with uh, Sun Hero and Justice because I'm not using two of those. And chances of me hanging out with Yumi anytime soon is fucking low. So, uh, regenerate one. Just for the fuck of it. Hama for some fun. And there we go. I'm never going to use this persona. Don't fuck me over, Igor. Over the week off screen in between streams, I went to my other save file and I started fusing the personas down the list, right? And then all the while while I was doing it, while I was completing the compendium, Igor kept fucking me over. He's like, oops, my bad, I dropped the card. I'm like, what? Why you do that? What the hell's wrong with you, Igor? My bad, I didn't mean to drop it. He just kept costing me more money. I'm just sitting there yelling, I'm like, God damn it, Igor! That cost me like half a million! <laughs> and you just dropped it? What an asshole. 
Oh wait, why the fuck? Logic. My brain fucking went, yeah, I'm heading back to school. Might as well take the bus. And I went to the bus side. Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Hello. Good day, you. Hi, uh, yes. Do you have any time to spare today? I do, I do. Yes. Yes, please. So we have a flood plane. All right, so I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope I don't fuck up this social link because sometimes, sometimes, depending on what you say, it will affect how an out social link turns out. And sometimes I just forget what to say. And it ends differently. <laughs> it seems Naoto has something to report to you about the card you gave her. As you can see, nothing is written on it. It's just a plain white card. Does it feel a bit stiff, given its thinness? Without any in indication of its contents, however, I have no idea who sent it. I chalk it up as a prank. Hmm. Oh, that's no fun. Really? Huh. I'm still worried. <sighs> it's quite common. If you follow every blind trail as a result of a prank, you get no investigation done. Nato's shrugging her shoulders. Nato's cell phone is ringing. Ah, oh, excuse me. Yes, it's me. Ah, Yaku, Yakushiji. Yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. Yakushiji-san, what's the matter? A thief? In the Shiragane estate? You have an estate? Oh, damn, you're rich. Yes, yes, I see. I don't keep anything in that room that I miss terribly. You have already reported this to the police, I assume? Then I'll leave the rest to you. As long as Grandpa's safe, it doesn't matter. I can't take my eyes off this case yet. Now to hung up quickly. Hmm. Damn. A thief in a sleuth's house? <laughs> There's no need for you to be so skeptical. Nato looks a bit embarrassed. That was from Yakushiji. Yakushiji. Uh, fuck. <laughs> that was from Yukakuku. My grandpa's secretary. I'm like stuttering all over the fucking place. <laughs> it appears someone has broken into the Shiragane estate. My room was targeted. What a perv. And he went to know, and he wanted to know if I could think of any peculiar item the thief might have been after. Several items pertaining to me were also stolen from Grandpa's inventory. I don't know about those, but my belongings are of any peculiar particular value. <laughs> All right. Who wants your stuff? Remember the card? Maybe that's connected. Yes. yes, that's precisely what I was thinking. Not to not. Regardless, you don't have to worry about me. We both have more pressing matters to attend to. I'm not sure how to react to your uh, worrying about me. Nato seems exceptionally edgy. You edging over there, Nato? You feel you understand Nato a bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit on top. Just sprinkled around. A little bit of understanding. Maybe some diligence. Maybe some expression. Courage. Nato's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Invigorate. Level 1. That is paramount I'll see you again. to Nato's uh, game plan. You want Invigorate on Nato. Practically against her will, you walk Nato to her house before going home. <laughs> so she's pouting all the way? <laughs> Fucking just like, I can walk by myself, damn it. You gotta let the voice line play every time. You can't cut off Nanako. You can't. Not once. I don't think I cut her off. At least when she welcomes you home. Mm. You realize you haven't bought anything. Well, I mean, does it have... Well, how much do I have anyways? Ooh. Okay. Almost half a mil. That's crazy. Do I have anything I can sell? On top of that? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think I sold everything. Do -do 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 I mean, I can sell these fucking stones. I'm never going to use them. All right. Uh, use the TV. Watch the shopping program. All right. Grant two of your desires, you buy from me, pure assassin. Oh my goodness, I can't believe 
its wonderfulness. You want that? And we got some. Oh shit! Why do I want prize stickers? What do prize stickers do? Give me the assassin combo. I'm gonna use that. Everybody's level 50, right? I don't have to. I don't have to grind on this save file, right? I think. I think I got everybody to 50. Let me just check, right? Yeah, everybody's 50. That's cool. Uh, actually, let me see. What does the prize sticker do? Prize sticker. Sticker from Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Mail in three for a prize. Wait. What? What? Hold up. What? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Wait. Nanako, I'm going out. Don't open the door for anybody. I gotta, I gotta figure this shit out. Mailbox? Mailbox. Mailbox? No. Okay, um... Where will you go? I guess the shopping district? Mailbox. 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 Hey, Dodgy. Mailbox. Mailbox? Mailbox. It's Mailbox! Oh my fucking god, are you- wait, what? I want a rare combo. I never knew you can do that. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You just blew my goddamn mind. Jesus. Wait, why did I choose fuck- oh, Damn it. I meant to go home. I gotta fold some paper. It blew my fucking mind with that. I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> Shit. Learn something new. Every playthrough. That's why I love Persona 4. Every playthrough I've done, I've learned something new. Like, I remember the first time I learned that you can actually change up, like, how Eyes Social Link works out, and I was like, wait, what? You can actually, like, make the relationship work? That's crazy. Diligence? Diligence? Ah, damn it. Yay, it's raining! Which means... Oh, hey, Nata. Good morning. Morning. This rain, I don't like it. Really? I love rain. I think rain's nice. It's nice. It's a little cold. You know, depending. What, the worst type of rain to me is rain when it's like really fucking humid and hot outside. That sucks. But when it's a nice breeze and you got rain going, it's nice. Especially, especially since when it rains, I can finally take a shower. <laughs> No one has turned up missing yet, but it just leave you thinking about that. Like, wait, this man doesn't shower until it rains. <laughs> no one has turned up missing yet, but it still makes me uneasy. Yo! Sorry to barge in. What the, what the fuck, man? Yosuke forced himself on your umbrella. Make room for me, too. There's one already. This one's already full, dumbass. Get now to make room under hers. It's quite all right. By all means, Kanji, you'll catch Ko. Oh, that, 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 wow. I just slurred the fuck out of that. By all means, Kanji, you'll catch a cold at this rate if you don't. What? Me and her under the same umbrella? The hell with that? If I, if I did that, um, I mean, we'd practically be like a couple. And that's a problem because, dude, how old are you? Shut up. Come on, let's trade spots. You know how stupid that sounds? Well, that's fine with me. Now tell mind if I walk with you? Hey! Hey, we calling stupid. Stop talking shit about me. Uh, will you just make up your mind? Excuse me. Um, I don't mind making room for whoever. Damn. Alright, well then Yosuke, take my umbrella. Uh -uh. Now toe! <gasps> <laughs> Hello! Now toe rhymes with hello. A third choice, eh? That was unexpected. But I have no objections. Ugh, damn it! I don't need an umbrella in a damn drizzle like this. But shizzle. I'll show you all how it's done. K Kanji! Sheesh. That idiot's gonna make himself sick. 
Oh crap. We're gonna be late if we keep this nonsense up. Let's hurry it up. Damn it, Kanji. Kanji practically cock blocked me. What an asshole. Hello, Naoto. Good day. Good day to you as well. Ah, uh, yes, there hasn't been any further developments regarding the card. I suspect that it's mostly a prank in poor taste. I apologize for troubling you with it. Hmm. Well, sadly, I won't be able to hang out with anybody. Well, first of all, first thing I want to do is I actually want to... I might save scum this a little bit. We have two Inaba Jewel Beetles. There's a chance that we might not even get the fish. <laughs> so, I might need to save scum in a little bit. Because I'm not spending more than one day grabbing this goddamn fish. To the floodplain. Wait a minute. We can do it at night, right? You know what? Wait. Hmm. Can I do it at night? Is it going to keep thundering at night? Thundering? Is that, is that a phrase? Ah, well, better safe than sorry. Fuck it. Alright. <clears throat> you see the shadows of the fish beneath the water surface. I shall cast my rod. There's a thunderstorm. What kind of fish would be here today? In a jewel beetle. Work your fucking magic. Alright, when you see a giant splash like that, that means that's the fish you want. And it's going to be really difficult. I recommend maybe reading some books. Well, I said really difficult. Never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> it's going to be really difficult. Just gets it in two seconds. Jesus. Maybe it's for the Sea Guardian. Maybe the Sea Guardian is uh, the one that's like super difficult. With your current diligence, you can make three more attempts. Continue fishing? Nah, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't need those fish. I don't want it. Came here Welcome to do one back. thing and I did it. Oh shit, I didn't even talk to Nanako after my goddamn test results. Nanako! <laughs> hey big bro, today I... You listen to Nanako for a while? I love you big bro. Aww. That's adorable. Oh yeah, that's how you got the best score in school on your test. That's incredible. Um, I made this. Here you go. A bead ring, a bead ring. Wait, hold up, what? Oh, I'm already wearing the paper armband. Wait, then what the fuck is the bead ring? I don't remember this. Increases evasion and magic. Well, not evasion and magic. Evasion against magic. I mean... That's cool? But shouldn't that be, like, the first thing she gives you? Because... The paper armband is better. Wait a minute. Does Nanako... Hmm... Does Nanako give you an accessory that increases your stats by 10? Hmm... I think she might give you something that increases your, uh, your stats by 10. Maybe. I'll wear the bead ring, fuck it. Why not? And we also got the metal bat. Is that better than- oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Dojima! Pay me money! Hey you, I heard you got top marks on the last exam. Keep up your studies while taking care of Nanako too. You're one ha you're one hard worker, aren't you? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. Here you go. A big tip. But don't spend it all in... Nah, you can use it however you want. Hey! 50,000! And with that, I got half a million. That's crazy. What the fuck? I started hearing noises behind me and it's my dog. Just doing stupid shit. Come on, get that diligence up. That's all you need. You decide to work on making envelopes. You quickly continue the- wait, what? Oh, I- <laughs> My brain stopped for a moment. You quietly 
quickly. Where did I get quickly from? You quietly continued the dull task. Diligence. I'm fucking rock solid. You're getting distracted. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Do it normally. You spend time to achieve your goal without speeding up. Doesn't matter to me anymore. I'm never folding these papers again. Hey. Good morning, you. Good morning, you, Kiko. The culture festival is just around the corner. Let's all do our best to prepare for it. Do you look forward to it? It's been nothing but bad news all year, hasn't it? It's during times like this that we have to make up for it. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part. I mean, you better not. You're my fucking girlfriend. <laughs> you better not! <laughs> like, what? I'm not, okay? Today, I'll talk about the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Among food history, one of the most interesting in history of French cuisine- wait, what? Among food history, one of the most interesting is the- okay, is the history of French cuisine. Did I- re I fucking had a stroke reading that. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but it actually stems from Italian food. A noble Italian girl married the French king in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over amongst other things. Like the fork! I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. But... But you're in Japan. The usual chopsticks. It said that before the fork was introduced, everyone in France ate with their hands or just a knife. Man, they were living the life. I'll tell you that. I fucking eat with my hands like a savage animal sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta get in there, you know? Just put your hand and slide inside the bowl of guac at a party and just scoop it in your mouth like it's a fucking trough. <laughs> so modern French cuisine, with its strict manners now, has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Was it interesting to see world history through the lens of food? You listen to the lecture intently. Don't matter if I listen or not, I'm already a fucking genius. Got a blast. Brain blast. Hey, Kanji! Wow, Senpai. it's been a while. Are you busy after the class today? I'll think about it. I'll think about it, Kanji. Depends. I know I gotta talk to the old man and get my goddamn sea rod. <laughs> I gotta talk to the old man down by the river so he can give me that big rod. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the sea rod, you dirty-minded individual. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, it's you. Ah, it's you. Were you able to catch the Guardian? When Guardian Leviosa. Uh, yeah, here you go. Let's take a look, shall we? Ah, incredible. Looks like I had you figure right. I know you could do it, boy. Boy? The fuck you call me boy for? What? <laughs> oh, okay. A little weird, but alright. I'm a man of my word. Think of the rod as. M Wait, what? Think of this rod as me, okay? I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Take care of it. Uh, you just might be able to do it. Cool. Sorry, boy. I didn't mean to get all misty-eyed. Just forget what I told you and enjoy yourself out there. Ah, uh, yes, I remember seeing the fish guide on sale at the bookstore. I recall if it was for advanced anglers. Had some tips on how to really reel them in. I say you have nothing to lose by picking it up or giving it a once-over. All right. So, what? Okay, cool. Leave it to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, bait for the Sea Guardian. It's a great question. Uh, that thing. What was it? It slipped my mind. It's big, round one. Though I know that. It, uh, that's the only bait it takes. Okay. I think it's the Genji Beetle that we have. It's the Gen- you can tell it's the Genji Beetle as it screams, I need healing. <laughs> I'm low on health, heal me. Yeah, Genji Beetle, let me see. Uh, can attract lots of mirror- yep, Genji Beetle is definitely the one that you need. So I don't even have to go look for the Genji Beetle. By the way, 
Genji Beetle is only available, well, besides buying it from the shopping channel like I did, the Genji Beetle is only available um, after you get, after you hand the guy the River Guardian. And then you talk to him about the bait and then you can go catch bugs and then that's when the Genji Beetle will start appearing. Back into town. Okay, you also got me high. Now to wants to hang out. Well, I mean, what what does Kanji have going for him right now? Kanji. Hmm. He's at seven. Um, what the hell is the next like dating event? I'm trying to think, is it? I think it might just be Christmas. Is Christmas the next dating event? I think so, so I think we're pretty good right now, considering you, considering how far off we have until we need to worry about Naoto. To get Naoto involved in all that fun, fun business. Yeah. Hey, you got some time? I'll hang out with you, Kanji, why not? Yeah. Sweet. Then how about we go f out for some food? Jason if I says the steak bowl here is great. <laughs> and hey, she's the expert. You're Kanji Tatsumi, right? I'd like to have a word with you. I'd like to have a couple of words with you. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Well, I wouldn't. Come with me. Uh, on what charges? What the fuck? Ah, oh, you're the kid that Tatsumi's been hanging around with lately, I see. So you're in coats? I think, out of just sheer ridiculousness, if an officer fucking told me I was in cahoots, I would just fucking start swinging right there. <laughs> just because he said cahoots. Get arrested over that shit. So what if we hang out? What's got to do with you? You know, there's been a group of teenage bullies lurking around here, don't you? You got a tip saying you've been threatening a child at the hill in the floodplains. Threatening? Child? Oh, him. Hmm. So you admit it. Not a shred of remorse, either. What the hell? He was just being nice, dude. S senpai It seems Kanji doesn't want you to tell. You two are gonna have to come with us down to the station. Oh, yeah? Wait till Dojima hears about this. He's gonna fucking shove his foot so far up your ass. Quit it! Now, wait a second. Senpai ain't got nothing to do with this. Oh, mister, what are you doing? You know these boys, kid? Can you tell me... Can you tell me how you know them? I don't think they've been straight with me. Hey! The hell are you telling that kid? You call yourself a cop? Did this boy ask you for anything? For instance, did he claim he lost his money? You lost your money, mister? You can have some of mine. Just as I thought. That ain't... Oh, but I came today to give you the cookies Mom baked as thanks. I was gonna sneak in and leave them at Tatsumi Textiles, but here you are. Thanks. Thanks for what? He made me a bunch of dolls, like a bunny and a cat. He's really good. Dolls? Are you saying Tatsumi made them? What a load of... There's no way you're getting me to believe that shit. Well... Believe it! I'm gonna be Hokage. Yeah, you tell him, Kanji! Start becoming Thanks, hype man. man. Yeah, senpai. I got this. Kanji nodded firmly. Alright, listen up, punks. They ain't any lying about it. I made this kid some dolls. What's with, uh... What's with the ones for his fr- Wait, what? What with the ones for his friends and his mom- <laughs> What's with the one with his friends and the mom? It was eight all in total. It was eight all in total. And let me warn you, they're so goddamn cute they give you diabetes at the instant, <laughs> the instantly fatal kind. So what? You want me to teach you how to make them? Huh? What? <laughs> you about to say that it ain't like me, right? Go ahead and laugh, damn it. Like I care. I'm used to being pointed at. 
And what's more important is, I ain't gotta make this kid or senpai a liar. Hey you! That button's falling off. I'm gonna sew it back on, you hear? <laughs> Officer, what Kanji's doing is the equivalent of like, when someone's getting in a fight and they'll just be like, Oh yeah? I'll bite your dick! <laughs> and he just start backing away, you're like, alright, this man's for real. Gotta stop it. <laughs> what are you doing to my Kanji? Uh, well, ma'am, there's been several cases of bullying around here, so... Kanji had nothing to do with them. Mom... He would never do such a thing. He may... Listen... Whenever someone's convicted of a crime and someone goes, What? They would never do that! They're not that type of person! It's like, what the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> what? They would never... What? You say my son killed all those people? He would, he would never do that. <laughs> Maybe stupid and short-tempered. God damn. Whoa, digging into your own son. Jesus. But he's strong and, and a gentle child. Why, just the other day, he showed me his dolls and he told me... <laughs> You're not really making it sound good, Mom. He showed me his dolls and he told me I can put them up for sale. Yo, bag. What are you saying? We apologize. If you'll excuse us. Mom, you believe me over the police? All right, now see, now that's a dumb question, Kanji. What the hell? You would never do such a thing. A mother knows. We have we have two stupid statements going on two different sides here. <laughs> One's the mother that's like, that's like, my child would never do anything bad. And the other one is the son who's like, what? My mom believes me? What? I need to prepare dinner now. Don't go stuffing yourself at Aya's before coming home. <laughs> Aya. Mister, are you crying? No, I ain't crying. It's not. I got a cold. You wanna catch it? Huh? Seems Kanji has grown a bit. Good relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Good job, Kanji. And your cute ass dolls. What'd you get, Kanji? You're generating three. Oh fuck. Yeah, get rid of that. Generate three has replaced generate one. That's cool. I think they stack. I think they're stackable if you have more than one on. Senpai, I think I'm getting a sore throat with my cold. Damn it! My nose won't stop running. Thanks. We waited for Kanji to calm down, then went home. Good for you, Kanji. Who the fuck is what blasting is music? What the fuck? Come on, dude. <laughs> what? I swear to God, every time I press this goddamn record button, it's always something happening around me. There's a delivery for you. Thank you, pure assassins. In addition, you obtained a bonus prize sticker. Oh, thank you. Every time I either stream or record, someone's doing something in the background, right? It's like, come on, man. Earbuds and headphones exist for fucking reasons. Uh, shopping district. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But, uh, we can hang out with Naoto, that's cool. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, we can work as janitor tonight, right? That's the case. Uh, do I have a double persona with me? Oh wait, why'd I go to social link? My bad, I'm sorry. I should go to the thing labeled persona. You're devil, right? Yep, succubus is devil. Alright, cool. Da 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 Alright, sorry. <laughs> you know, you get into it. You have fun. That's why you play video games, for fun. Anybody municipal ho municipal hospital. You busily clean the dark, silent hallways. So silent, so dark, so scary. Huh? You thought you heard something from down the hall. Speaking about fucking spooky shit happening at night. Oh my god. 
So, you know, I work, uh, I work primarily overnight, so like the graveyard shift, and I work in like, um, uh, kind of like a shopping outlet, and I do security for that. So, <laughs> the other night, I start, you know, doing my rounds, walking around and shit, and then for some reason, the wind picks up. It's an outside, uh, it's an outside shopping outlet, by the way. Um, the wind picks up, the lights in the area start to flicker. And then the train starts passing by, and then I start hearing a bunch of noises and shit. Hearing everything creak. And fucking... And then I hear, like, thumping in the background. And I'm just... I'm just walking down the alleyway, just looking around. I'm just like, what the fucking... What? <laughs> this is where... This is where I die. I'm like, it's done. It's over. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. It's basically what I did. I was like, just... Just keep walking. <laughs> I also remember like one night, I was like walking around minding my own business, had headphones on, and I was like singing to myself, having a good time, and then I turned the corner and one of the custodians was there, because it was like the night that custodians come around a little bit earlier. So when I turned the corner, I, I opened my eyes and I saw the custodian, and like, the only time in my life I think I have let out an audible gasp. <laughs> I was so fucking embarrassed, not because they caught me singing, but because I literally stopped jumped for a second I went <gasps> and I was like the fuck it was really awkward my oh forgive me it seems the old lady is looking in your direction the old lady left who was she In a municipal hospital, empty hospital room. Sayoko found you and brought you here. <laughs> well done. You can just slack off and do a half-ass job, but you really do work your cute little butt off, don't you? Hey, don't talk about my cute little butt, okay? It's mine. So why are you working at a job like this? Eh, for the money. To have something to do, I'm bored. Well, I don't need the money. I got like fucking half a million on me. I'm good. For a goddamn kid in high school? Oh, yeah. I'm bored. Kids have time to spare. When you're an adult, it's the other way around. You have money, but no time. I can't wait for that moment to happen in my life. <laughs> you got money, but no time. It's like, where the fuck's my money? I don't got money and time. <laughs> That's why my streams are late at night. <laughs> <laughs> and only like two times a week. Well, you won't understand what I mean until you're older. But still, a young child shouldn't be wasting time wiping windows at the hospital. I'm sure there are girls who would cry if they saw you doing menial chores like this. I don't know, man. Women like a man in uniform. Speaking of which, say, do you have a girlfriend? I do not. Right in front of me. Why do you ask? I do. I do. I do. That I do. Oh. Then you can't let your girlfriend see you like this. Hmm. Alright, you gotta back off now. High schoolers are so young. Yes, that is true. They're only ten years younger, but they seem so far away. I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna call Chris Hansen. Give him a dial. I'll be right back. It's like they're glittering. <laughs> it's like they're glittering. I feel... <laughs> what the fuck? I feel this. What do you call it? Envy? She's like drooling as she's saying this shit. She's like... It's like they're... <laughs> glittering. Maybe that's why. I just want to see them get screwed over by life. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> well, that was a joke, of course. Half of it was, anyways. Do you see what I'm getting at? Stop it! Stop that! Oh, I keep telling you, silly. That's the kind of reaction I just find irresistible. Oh! <laughs> Who's worse? Her or Kajiwagi? I don't know! I have to go now. I have a lot of work piling up. I got something piling up right now, if you know what I mean. 
I just can't help myself. It's because you're just so damn fine. Saeko smiles in satisfaction. You can feel Sayako's mischievous affection for you. Did I just call her Sayako? I'm sorry. Is that her name? <laughs> Sayoko? Sayako? Wait, which one is it? My bad. What? What? Uh, Sayoko. I keep calling her Sayako. Why the fuck do I keep doing that? I'll see you again. Maybe. You're lucky I get paid to come to this job. Sorry to bother you while you're on the job. Keep up the good work, okay? You finished your job and went home. You earned 8,000. What? Only 8,000? <laughs> Sudoku? <laughs> hey, Kabito, nice to see you. Yo! Yo, you! You yourself. Hey, what kind of event did the class at your old school do during Culture Festival? By the way, those motherfuckers from my old school still haven't called me at all. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe he's leaving for the year. None of you motherfuckers called me. It's been fucking, it's been months. It's almost Halloween. The school here in Inaba has a bunch of different events for our culture festival. I guess this is one of the few school events that everybody actually looks forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. Speaking of Halloween in Japan, fucking... Wasn't it like... Like, Halloween's only been like really... Really like popping off in Japan for like... The past... Past like maybe 12 years? I think? Because I know when this game came out, it was like... It was like some people celebrate Halloween in Japan, but not that many people. But now, with more uh, Western influences, I think... I think they... Celebrate it way more, especially since cosplay is just like a really good thing now, right? There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board the Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beautiful pa a beautiful a beauty pageant that will take place during the cultural festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it. Uh, I don't want that. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko Amagi, Chie Satanaka, Rize Kujikawa, Nato Shiragane. Okay, Rize, I expect you. What the fuck? Hanako Otani. It's a surprising lineup. One, two... Wow, there's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Rise Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. Is Japan like the only place where like last names are predominantly like really strong? <laughs> like that? Like in high school, I know when I talked about people, uh, when I talked about people, when, when people would talk about people, when everybody would talk about anybody, right? No one ever went like, oh, you mean, you mean, uh, Timmy Two Legs? <laughs> Right? Well, I guess in one one particular person in general, I'm not going to say their full name, but their last name, well, I guess two people, actually. I knew someone with the last name Fightmaster, and I knew someone with the last name Waterfall. I mean, Waterman, my bad. Waterman, but we kept calling them Waterfalls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having memories. Oh, you talk about Waterfalls? <laughs> I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. <laughs> it was all in, it was all in good fun though. It was never like uh, to make fun of anyone. They were in on the joke too. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Was that fucking? Was that Makoto from Danganronpa? Huh? Rizette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. You know, my dick's actually kind of pretty hard about it. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Like Ko. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh... 
pretty cute. I bet some people just got offended by that. What the fuck? <laughs> Did he just let out like an extra? Ugh. <laughs> what was that? Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. Exactly. But to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? What? <laughs> what? These fucking crazy ass perverted laughs. Laughing like fucking Mr. Burns. Smithers! Release the hounds! It seems that each girl already has fans. Yo. What's up, Yosuke? Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. I don't know why. Fuck you, Yosuke. <laughs> she looked pretty serious. I wonder if something. I don't know why, but she's just calling us out, bro. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. They called out. She called us out. Oh shit. You better have a damn good explanation for this. For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? N no, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? Because it's always you, Yosuke. When is it not you? Yosuke, name one fucking time when it's not you. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! Good point. Why would Yosuke go to the rooftop if he knew what was about to happen? <laughs> exactly. Just walks up. He's like, man, I don't know, but uh, Chie seems hella mad. We should, uh, I mean, I guess we can go. Anything could happen, right? <laughs> Fucking idiot. With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. God damn it, Yosuke. What the fuck is that noise? So what are you doing? You. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? Hey. What are you doing? Get over here. Sorry, my dog's just like... You okay? What's up? You alright? Come here, I'm, I'm gonna put you on the bed real quick. <laughs> Go on the bed. Don't do anything crazy on my bed, I'll hurt you. I'll throw you across this room. Oh my god, did I just provoke the other dog? You stay over there. You're comfortable over there. Oh my god, here he comes too. Jesus, fuck! <laughs> he said, he said, we getting, we getting fucking hands out over here? Come on. Okay, now you did Matt Extra for no reason. You just stepped over every wire in the vicinity. Why would you do that? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh my god, they're all over my headphones. Ah, oh, shit. Get on the bed. Go lay under my jacket or something. I don't know. Do what you want. Well, don't do what you want. Don't, don't piss in my bed. I'll hurt you. <laughs> I'll end this stream real quick. So nobody can hear your screams. Oh, crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Damn, Yosuke. <laughs> well, excuse me for not fitting in. Che's voice actor hey, must really love yelling. Be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Wow, Kanji. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. Damn, Yosuke. I, I didn't say nothing. All right, let's all face it. We, we at least all had that one friend that would just fucking call you out on your shit, right? They'd be like, hey, so-and-so wants you to hang out over here. And you're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what about you? You want them to be in it, right? Enter the pageant, damn it! You stress how much you want them to be entered in the beauty pageant. Your expression has increased. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? I'm not inching on anything. 
Okay, maybe I'm inching on a couple of things, but just, you know. Come on. As long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Yeah, I know, thought. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. Humble brag. That's right. That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it too. Yosuke's like, that's right. Whore yourself out. <laughs> Sell out. Do it. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. So Ted's behind this too. We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. I mean, the awkward position is the best position. Right, Nato? Right, Nato? Uh-huh. Hey, Nato? Hey. <laughs> Did she just say, as long as people were, wait were wanting to look, I don't mind putting on a show for them? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, I said it earlier in the playthrough. I got jokes for everybody. You got fucking... You got... You got fucking haircut. Coconut head. You got boy wonder. <laughs> And then you got Rize, who just out of zero creativity on my part, she's just a, just a slut. <laughs> For real. Out of all the girls, she just easily whores herself out and she has no problem doing it. <laughs> I got jokes, but besides for fucking Yukiko, I ain't got nothing for her. Damn it. She has a kooky laugh. That's it. Wow. Big whoop. But it seems ill fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. I don't think it's a problem at all. Listen, cadet, I got a job for you. You see this button? Yeah, don't touch it. It's the history eraser button. What? History eraser button? You fool. Wait, what? <laughs> Explain. I'm confused. Also, I welcome, mean, Spooky. Just do it. You know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. It's from Ren and Stimpy. Oh my fucking god. Dude, Ren and Stimpy is like a uh, anomaly in my fucking memory. All I remember is like some weird shit happening sometimes, maybe a chuckle once or twice, and then a bunch of disgusting shit happening all the time. And none of it has like any like any like permanent place in my brain. Maybe except for the one where uh, wh which one is Ren and which one is Stimpy? Ren Ren is the uh, Ren's the fucking the rat, the Chihuahua, right? <laughs> and Stimpy's the big one. Like, wasn't there a thing where like Ren went to like the beach or whatever, and he was trying to get. He was trying to get women to grab towels off of his his wing wing. <laughs> he was like a real horny boy. So is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant. That and I remember their voices. You can't you can't forget Ren and Stimpy's voices. Once you hear it, you'll never forget it. <laughs> right? What are you saying? That and like, wait. Question: Was cow and chicken? Did Cow and Chicken have the same voice actors as Ren and Stimpy? Now that I think about it. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud. We don't know how. Um, I beg you, please be. <laughs> cow and Chicken is the dumbest shit ever. And then you got the devil. <laughs> the devil who's like super flamboyant. If you do, my uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on. Make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Coming from Nato, who just said that she had a tin air for reading people. You fucking moron. Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, I mean you're an ace detective, aren't you? Figure it the fuck out! <laughs> what does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kanji just losing his mind. <laughs> He's just on the verge of tears. He's like, <laughs> into the pageant. <gasps> the preparations for the culture festival in two days are are going well. He's trying to get muscles to attract women, so We're Stimpy back. gave away his I'm oh so god, tired. his butt fat to give Ren's body enough mass to become buff. Oh shit. <laughs> 
isn't that something that people do today? Like it's uh, like when you look back at it in like the late nineties, early two thousands, you're like, fucking idiots. You can't you can't just give someone your fat to like fucking to give them more mass, but nowadays people are like, Yeah, take the fucking uh take some of my take some of my fat from my I don't know, from my fucking arms or something and inject it into my ass. You gotta have that big booty, you know what I'm talking about? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Well, yeah, Chie. He just said it's about the day of the event. What? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. It was way ahead of its time. Eh, somewhat, I guess. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, uh, fucking, um, I lost my train of thought for a moment. Was Powder Toast Man from Ren Instant? Where was Powder Toast Man from? I'm trying to remember that. Oh, thanks for the follow again. Greatly appreciate it. I'm, I'm lucky enough that I was able to see it because the volume is so low on my end that I might not be able to hear it. Powder Toast Man was from Ren and Stimpy. Okay, cool. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? You know what? Now that I think about it, you know how Nickelodeon had their Smash Bros. thing come out? Why didn't they put fucking Doodle Bob in it? Him walking around talking about me ha ha ba baba. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? This man just gave out a whole entire fucking tutorial. Even I didn't catch all of that. Jesus, fuck. <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll be the catcher. Who says shit like that? Who says that? Will this kind of be like a spherical object that we can toss at each other for the fun times? Like you would just you would just roll it up and throw it without even telling anybody. <laughs> Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. My man ran away with his hands in his pocket. That's pretty suspect. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's playing a little bit of pocket pool. Welcome back. Welcome back yourself, Dojima. I should be saying that to you. I'm fucking in your house more than you are. <laughs> I should be the one talking about welcome back. I I thought going to my room would, would give me the option to like just skip to the next day. I thought it was like an event, so I guess I just I'll just walk back downstairs now. We got food in here. You open the fridge, huh? There's a brown spherical object in the depths of the fridge. You think it used to be a pear? Eat it. It has no taste at all. No taste at all. Courage has increased. However, you don't feel so well. Oh, you decided to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> <laughs> just just look at him like I'm Spider-Man. Spo spoilers, by the way, I guess. Look at him like I'm Spider-Man. Just go, Dojima, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Start disappearing. You see, you can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. All right. Before we go any further with this playthrough, I feel like I do have to say this for some people. Um, Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 
was made in Japan back in like 2006, 2008. And even in the modern day, Japan is not as liberal as we are in America. So if you get offended by this, I apologize. I apologize. That That's all I can really say, right? <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're like, what fucking dumbass would what? Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too. You Narakami? That's your name, all right. You damn right, it's my name. What the hell? Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. That's pretty fucked up. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Hey, what if you talked all the fuck the way over there? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. I just realized, look at Yosuke's shoes. The man's out here wearing fucking Air Force Ones, all white. <laughs> it seems that you have to enter the cross dress pants or that's a culture freshman. Jesus. Yosuke came to school with some drip today. He walked out of his fucking house. He was soaking wet. He's like, damn, dripping all over the place. You better have a damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. <laughs> was you, I love that voice line. He's like, for what, my ass? Come on, man. I love how the girl oh, just walks away. She's like, well, I'm not an important character. I'm just going to see myself this way. Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this. So I didn't really have a choice. Oh, man, Risei, Risei did that for some crazy shit. Part of some daydream she'd be having. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. I think your favorite segment was Space Madness, where Ren goes insane from exploring space so long that it suffers from stir craziness when Stimpy tries to call. <laughs> Jesus. You little. This is cross dressing! Cross dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it. <laughs> I'll give it my all, damn it. Whoa. Are you serious? Yosuke, don't look at me like that. I'll fucking kiss you. I'll do it right here, right now. Yeah, yeah. This has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. Man, who says you can't back out? Just fucking just walk the other way. Who's going to stop you? If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's going to listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? Damn, Yukiko, why you gotta why you gotta be like that? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Why you gotta go for a man's weak spot? You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? That's why I like you, Yukiko. That that's my favorite trait that she has on her. The fact that she's just cold blooded sometimes. She just goes for it. Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You, you're positive we'll be pretty. <laughs> Guaranteed. Kanji's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pretty. He's like so hopeful about it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. That's the spirit, Kanji. That's what I'm talking about. There's nothing manly about being a woman. Oh yeah, well, there's nothing womanly about being a man, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I seriously. I don't know where I was going with that. 
I just want to say the opposite of what he was saying. Get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji Kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? So, here's what I don't get, right? Without our consent. So you have you have the thing where it's like the beginning of the game they throw Yukiko your way they're like you like Yukiko huh and then Rize shows up and then Rize's all like oh senpai I'm all over your dick right and then you get to parts of the game where they start pairing people up for shit and they keep pairing you up with Yukiko <laughs> instead of Rize. What kind of joke is this? Well, shouldn't Rize be the one if you want me to go for Rize shouldn't Rize be the one dressing me up here? The exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> there you go, Yosuke. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, welcome home, big bro. There's a delivery for me. It's my special prize. Oh, that's it? Well, that sucked. Oh, I can't go outside. Damn it. Well, let's at least save the game, right? You should rest early today to get ready for the culture festival. I will do just that. I'd be mad as hell, too. <laughs> what, if someone signed you up for this? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. You wonder if your class project will be a success. You should hurry to school. What the fuck? What happened? Oh, sorry. In the background, I have, like, my TV playing just so I can have, I don't know, something in the background. And I saw it counting down to something, and I got confused. I was like, what the hell's going on? Oh, the class booth. Group date cafe. No one is stopping by. Maybe because there's a total of, like, fucking five people in here? Hand experience with group dating. Uh, why are you gotta say it like that? Mm. Oh, this is so embarrassing. To be fair, I did have a job. Uh, one of my first jobs was in retail, and it was for like this expensive ass clothing store. And I was surprised that I was actually able to make some sales goals there. But one of the things that they made you do, um, like when you started out working there, was that. Like you, you would constantly, uh, someone would constantly be like, "Man, we gotta, we gotta get that shyness out of you, right?" And I remember constantly saying, "Like, I'm not shy. I'm just sick today. Calm down. I'm speaking lowly because I got a sore throat, but I'm still at work, okay? Right? This was like years ago, by the way, before uh, coronavirus and all that bullshit." And they would be like, "Well, here's some flyers. Go outside and just start screaming at people, right?" I fucking hated every moment of doing that. It's like the dumbest thing ever. But, to be fair, I was so goddamn good at my job and so charismatic about it that I was able to get a lot of people in that fucking store. Not only that, but I was able to convince them to buy shit. Right? Even though I wasn't on the sales floor. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. I think you're a fucking shill. I don't know what that means in this context, but I think you're one regardless. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. That's also something they did in retail stores too, where they're like, well, you can't just stand around and do nothing even though there's nothing to do. You have to constantly look busy, so just head near some clothes and pretend that you're fixing shit. Because then people are going to be like, oh, you seem to be pretty busy over there, let me walk inside. Even though that never really works. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? Oh, Kanji, you walked into a trap. Check up on you, guys. Perfect timing. But now we've got four guys and two girls. Hey, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow, anyways. One of you can sit on the girls' side. You dickhead. What? I'm not gonna. 
Uh, just excuse me. Thank you very much. Took the middle one too, so you ain't no way you're getting me out of there. There you go, Yosuke. You'll be our girl. Yosuke, you could have easily just quickly just sat on down. Are you serious? Why are you arguing with the man? Why you let him sit down? You should have sat down yourself. Fucking moron. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh you guys can start now. Alright, people, make your voices be heard. Choose your waifu. Uh, uh, will someone please start? Uh. The silence is heavy. Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? I mean, we're on a group date! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that, Yosuke? You don't have to talk like a girl. So, what are your hobbies? The fuck you say like that for a guy? What are your hobbies? Indubitably. Man, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I like, um, martial arts in general. Uh, m mainly watching them. <laughs> you saw how she lightened her voice up? What the hell? Yikes, this is really embarrassing. My hubby is, um, defeating shadows? Damn girl, that's sexy. She's like, I like killing that's shit. Not a hobby. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Okay, then we'll ask you a question next. Um, uh, Oh shit, my bad, I'm sorry, Jay. What type of girls do you like? Damn! Whoa, getting right to the point. Chat, make your voice be heard. Choose for I me. Guess, uh, I have to be neutral girls? in this. Man, this is lame. Oh, now it dawns on you? Your turn. What type of girls do you like? The whole bit ends with Ren having Stimpy guarding the history eraser button. Even trying to make him anxious enough with goading him into pressing the button. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Let's see. Who are we picking, guys? What are we doing here? If I pick, I'm gonna fucking close my eyes and do it. I gotta be neutral in all of this. <laughs> What's the matter there, Kabito? What are we doing here? You say Yukiko? Any objections to that, guys? Let your voices be heard or forever be damned. To be fair, Yukiko hasn't... Like, when it comes to the relationship shit happening in this game, Yukiko hasn't won one yet. Che won twice, I think, and Rize won once. What did Rize get to do? I think she went to the... Wait, no, Chie went to the festival with me. Rize got to put her head on my lap. And the other one with Chie was... I, I forgot what it was, honestly. I think we gave her, like, a compliment or something about her swimsuit or some bullshit. Even now, Raider joins in on the fun. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, the narrator's telling him to press the button? God damn it. All right, let's go with Yukiko. Someone like Yukiko, someone that just wants to fucking kill me, you know? Huh? Oh, thank you. I guess. Oh, you're welcome, Yukiko. Your turn, Kanji-kun. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, well, I, I, I guess someone who's, uh, kind of mysterious and, uh, looks strong, but actually kind of... Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Hello, Yukiko is the only one who doesn't catch on. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let's try to ask any question. Anybody you, uh... Anybody here you like, uh, Yukiko? Huh? That's... Do I have to say it in front of everyone? Say it. It puts me in the mood. Say it back. <laughs> 
I've done that before. The say it back game. You say something to a person of interest, and then, and then you just go say it back, say it back. <laughs> And then other people hear it, and then other people start going, Say it back. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, see ya. Wow, Rize. Thanks. Mark it. The group date cafe is officially a failure. The first day of the culture festival ended on a strange note. You decided to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Yasugami High Hallway. Wow, this class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish I was doing something this cool. A uh, cool what what? Clue? Why did I say that? <laughs> this cool. We're doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? It's too late to complain, Piglet. Oh, bother. Oh, wait, no, that's that's Winnie the Pooh. My bad. Piglet is... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. It's not Piglet. It's Hamlet. How'd I get stuck with the role anyways? And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet, dude. Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be a way more exciting. Or a way more exciting, right? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna be rooting for you in the beauty contest. Fuck you, Ko. Fuck you. That's why your family don't love you no more. <laughs> Just instantly go there. Remember, first place or bust. Hey, at least they got my back on this shit, right? Yeah, like, you better go in first place. You're up there. You up there for a reason. What? Are you sure you want to go in there? Well, it's nothing. I'm not scared or anything. Don't worry, Yumi. It's only a haunted house. It reminds you of things, of, like, dead things. Like your father. <laughs> Wait for me. Don't leave me here alone. Don't worry, I won't leave you there alone. I'm not your father. <laughs> you make it too easy, Yumi. I have an idea. I should act like a ghost. Oh, like your dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done. I had to. I, I couldn't resist. All, the other, <laughs> all other ghosts are my friends. Boo. Ouch! Don't grab my hand like that. You made me. Yuka, is that you? Who are you? No, no more. I'm going outside. I want to go home. Don't tell anyone what happened in there, okay? I mean, it wasn't scary at all. How long can trusty cadet Stimpy hold out? How can he possibly resist the dialogical- uh, di dialogical- why the fuck did I say that? Diabolical- wait, is this what the narrator says? Diabolical urge to push the button that could have raised his very existence- oh shit. Will his tormented mind give in to the uncontrollable desire? Can he withstand the temptation to push the button that even now beckons him close? <laughs> Will he succumb to the maddening urge to eradicate history? At the mere push of a single button, the beautiful shiny button, the jolly candy-like button, will he hold out, folks? Can he hold out? Oh shit, that, that's actually pretty good writing, I like that. Jesus fuck. You have fun with Yumi. That's cool. Why is the the only, only fucking English word on that sign? Why? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> the long-nosed fortune teller, huh? Oh, come on. Who believe crap like this? <laughs> no, I can't. He pushes the button. <laughs> you're a confident one. Uh. Maybe you're pretty good. You want to challenge me? I bet you can't win. Overest uh, overestimating your competence will only work against you, miss. Hmm. I'll take that as your acceptance. I challenge you to read one fortune. No. No time limit. If I win, which I will, I'm gonna destroy this stand. Oh, that's a little putting on their... Little put on their little thick eye. The subject of the little contest is use relationship with girls. Why me? 
If that's the case, I most certainly have the advantage. Ugh! <laughs> Margaret, stop! What does that mean? Because <laughs> Margaret knows you're cheating on everyone. So she's like, don't worry, I got this covered. <laughs> I'll snitch on him right now. I'll do it. Most pettiest reason to ever snitch on me. Welcome back. Welcome back. You should get some rest. More culture festival bullshit tomorrow. The second day of the culture festival. At a classroom before the contest begins. You know, on the subject of like older uh, Nickelodeon cartoons, I mean, of course I miss Danny Phantom. Who doesn't there? miss Danny Come Phantom? On, hurry up and, sit down. and uh, Teenage Robot. I miss, I miss the XJ9 stuff. It was great. But speaking of Danny Phantom, I own the complete collection of Danny Phantom, so I can watch that shit whenever I want. Mm. Whenever I want. Danny Phantom. I love it. Come on, Kanji Kun. Over here. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. But I like it. <laughs> I like it when you hurt me. I want it to hurt. Looks like you have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. What about me? You know, to be honest, I'm not a stranger to having a girl apply makeup on me. I remember when I was in high school, there was a moment where girls were like, oh, come on, let's do it. And I was like, fine. Give in to the temptation. Right. <laughs> and God damn it, I looked beautiful. It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. It wasn't nothing crazy though. They just wanted to put mascara on me and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I was like, why not? He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Now, to someone what? who probably begins by probably doesn't apply limit. makeup on themselves that much. About to give it her all. <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Y yeah, bring it on. Damn, Yosuke. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. Sup? <laughs> I love how Kanji just rolls up and he goes, Sup? <laughs> That's my favorite. This is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Wow! A conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant! An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness, she's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Jesus! Oh my god, why would you say that? <laughs> that was kind of mean, damn it. 
I wasn't really paying attention too much. But then he said that shit. It's like the moment she opens her mouth, Jesus. <laughs> it was like, what? So I don't know if Yosuke is supposed to be a reference to something or not. If he is, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe he's a reference to, uh, I don't know. Fuck, maybe To Love Rue or some bullshit. I don't know. Nickelodeon was very base back in the day. Too bad it turned into shit in recent years. I don't know. I haven't really watched, uh, I haven't really looked at. The most I see about Nickelodeon now is like whenever I just walk past the living room and I see like my my little nephew watching it or whatever but most of the time my little nephew's not even watching like Nickelodeon he's watching uh he's watching just like shit off of Hulu and stuff like that like like he's actually watching like Sailor Moon and shit so <laughs> I mean he picked some good ones and here I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off Sailor Moon's awesome dude it's terrifying I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Ew, you heard him, like, collect his spit in his mouth? That was weird. Hell no! Uh, <clears throat> like, no way! What is with this? The laughing stock's up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. I just fucking hit my microphone. Well, I hit my desk. And then I saw I saw the volume go up. <laughs> she has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, class two. Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Whoa, who the fuck asked you? Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? A girl I like entered me. Hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this. Now I'm scarred for life, damn it. Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy John! Give me your heart. That's a boy? He's so cute. I'd hit it. <laughs> I've always loved that line. My man said, I hit it. Oh shit, we're getting rated? Thank you. Shout out to the original. How the fuck do I say that shit? I gotta put my glasses on. Why am I not playing this with my glasses? I just realized that shit. Oh my god. The original. Ish, ish, fuck. Yushi? Yushi. I, ishushi? Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sussy raid. Oh, so I'm guessing you guys, I'm guessing you guys came from, uh, probably came from, um, Among Us. Why the fuck did I forget the name of that game? Jesus. Sushi. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I guess because the words were together, I couldn't even... Oh, because cause I saw two eyes. That's what fucked me up. It says sushi. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. Um, For those who are here, I guess I should introduce myself. Hi, I go by the name Firestorm. I'm nobody special. Um, I just I just play games. That's literally just it. I don't, I don't know what else to say, right? You was playing Hollow Knight. Okay. Oh, shit. I actually played Hollow Knight a little... Sorry, I got distracted. My I thought my TV turned off for a moment. I, was, I played Hollow Knight for, like, a little bit. I wanted to stream it originally, but then once I started doing a test playthrough, uh, test playthrough for it, I kind of, like... It's not that I don't like Hollow Knight. It's just that it's a learning curve to it for me. 
Like, it's not as easy to pick up as, like, um, Symphony of the Night, right? Like, I can play Symphony of the Night. That's, that's pretty fun. I like that game. Best Castlevania. The votes have been collected. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is... The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! I also think if I want to play, um... If I'm gonna play Hollow Knight, I think I want to play uh, Bloodstain first. Like, there's a bunch of games I have that I've never played that I just bought. Oh, thanks for the follow, Sushi. I appreciate it. Um, like Bloodstain is definitely one of them. Like, I bought the game and it's just been sitting on the rack for a while. <laughs> that and like Chris Tales. Like Chris Tales came out. It Chris Tales is one of those games where everybody was waiting for it to come out, but once it came out, no one ever talked about it. So I don't know. I haven't played Chris Tales. And I also have 13 Sentinels that I haven't touched yet. Struggle on the bosses a lot. Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. I think I beat the first boss in Hollow Knight. Well, I beat I beat a mini boss, and then there was the first boss. Like the the first actual boss is like the really big guy, right? That like stomps all over the place. But I think I would like Hollow Knight. Like, if I gave it more time, because I, I love, I love Dark Souls and shit, so. I have so many games you never played yet. <laughs> the only thing that's been stopping me is mainly because, uh, most of the time, if I, if I have a game I haven't played before, chances are I want to stream it, so people can, you know. Mainly, mainly so I can just record my own reactions to shit for myself, right? Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasogami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! Oh, Teddy's so happy. An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy, too. Yeah, he's like over-the-top innocent. <laughs> Teddy innocent? The horniest character in the game? Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! Do I have a favorite character in this game? Um... I'll get back to you on that <laughs> in a second. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body! <laughs> Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. Rize, you just giving it out for free, aren't you? Jesus, fuck. That bear needs to be disappeared. And that's why I love Yukiko. <laughs> well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. All right. So, as for favorite character, I honestly don't know. Actually, mm, well, the real answer for anyone is <laughs> Naoto's dead fish face. Yeah. Yeah, Naoto's face is hilarious. Naoto's just so over this shit, right? Um,. As for favorite characters, I don't know. It depends, right? Because, because, listen, but, like, not going into spoilers, there are people who will obviously say, you know, the culprit is probably their favorite character. Um, but then most of the time, most of the time I feel like the answer should always be Nanako, right? Just, listen, if you're not playing P4 for Nanako, then you're just, then you're, you're just doing it wrong. <laughs> you're just doing it wrong. Um, but it's like, yeah. Basic answer is Nanako. Everyone loves Nanako, right? Um, but then it's like, me personally, I think Yosuke is pretty goddamn cool. Yosuke is a fucking loser, but he's a cool loser and I like him. But then you got Kanji, who definitely stands out. Like, just for, like, you know, just for his whole situation and stuff like that. But even beyond that, like, he's fun to be around. Um... For the girls, it changes all the fucking time out of the main girl. Some playthroughs I like Chie more, some playthroughs I like Yukiko more, some playthroughs I like Rize more, and other playthroughs I like Naoto more, right? I never, in P4, I never had, like, a definitive, like, 
out of the main four, I never had like a definitive waifu of choice, right? But then if we're talking about characters that are not part of the main group, like the other social links, it's like, well, out of all the characters, I think I would be my favorite. I like I. I think she stands out. I think her and uh, and Naoki stand out a lot, right? How many times have I replayed Persona 4? Mm, I don't want to answer that. It's so weird because Persona 4 is not my favorite Persona, but it's my most played Persona. So I honestly, I don't know. I played vanilla Persona 4 maybe like a total of three times. And then when Golden came out, I probably played it once every year. <laughs> and then when the PC remaster came out, um, I played it. Let me actually move this on so you guys don't have to stare at a goddamn black screen the whole entire time um dress yourselves up as well as you can when the pc brats. release came out i played it once but then i was like okay i'm actually well i played <laughs> i bought a fucking p uh what's it called a vita tv because i wanted to do a, a playthrough of persona 4 on youtube of golden on youtube but then like I just didn't like how it was coming out, so then I just decided to cancel that and then come back later when I felt more comfortable with like streaming and shit. So then when the PC release came out, I then threw my hands in the air because I was like, well, there's no reason for me to have a fucking PS Vita TV no more because every game on the Vita that's worth recording is now fucking out on everything else. You know, and you can't stream Criminal Girls on fucking, uh, I never played Criminal Girls, but you can't stream Criminal Girls on, on Twitch. That got banned for some reason. Um... So then, I uh, I do test playthroughs, right, for games that I, you know, if, if I'm not playing a game blind, I do test playthroughs. But for Persona 4's case, behind the scenes on this stream, I have another save file where all the social links are maxed out and stuff like that. So we can, you know, look at that when we get to the ending of the game. So I can just switch out the, um, I can switch out the goddamn profiles towards the end of the game. So we don't have to worry about social links this playthrough. And then, um, I also filled out the compendium and shit like that, but the problem with that was that I was doing it without a guide. So, even though I got all the social links maxed out, and the compendium's full, I didn't get everyone's, like, ultimate persona. So, I'm kinda thinking if I should just... do another playthrough in the background and just try to get that? <laughs> you know? One day we'll get our P3 remake. Yeah, exactly, right? Excuse me. Before the stream, I, I had a fucking pizza. Jesus. Um, or PSR on Steam. Persona 5 Vanilla's on Steam, right? Am I crazy? The original Persona 5, that's on Steam, but just not Royal? Uh, Yosuke was your first maxed out social link. Damn right. No, no, not even. Okay, shit. <laughs> Oh no, I know why I think it's on Steam, because when it came out here in the fucking West, uh, like, within, like, what, two weeks or whatever, the PS3 version was getting pirated? <laughs> right? Strikers, yes, yeah, Strikers. That's why I keep getting confused. Yeah, because the, the PS3 version was getting emulated to hell and back, and that was, like, a whole big thing that was happening with Persona 5 when that came out. Um... But yeah, fucking P3 is my favorite Persona. I love Persona 2, right? For the longest time, I had to wrestle with whether I like 3 or 2 better, but I like 3, right? Uh, then it's some data and some data in autumn. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Hold up. We only wait April event, maybe. Then it's some date and some date in autumn. Okay. I don't know why the fuck... Listen, I hope they do a remake. Because you look at the dancing games and it's like, well, you got the backgrounds, you have the character models, you even fucking minor, very minor spoilers. I don't really like talking about spoilers too much, but very minor spoilers for Persona 5 Royal. There's optional boss fights for certain characters. And it's like you have you have the work done already. You just got to put it together, right? 
Let's see. The anniversary events. Yeah, they can reuse. Yeah, they can reuse shit, right? But even if they release P3, P or P3. Oh, God, P3. Maybe that's what's holding them back. They're like, well, if we do a remake of Persona 3, are we going to have to do both the the fucking the MC and the FEMC? And then are we going to have to do the answer on top of that? Fucking the answer. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh, man. That's something that I'm actually uh, thinking about is um, once we're done with Persona 4, because I personally love fighting games and I love Ultimax, I'm not sure if I want to straight go into Ultimax or if I want to do P3 first. What is the answer? Oh! <laughs> Don't ask that question! <laughs> oh no! The answer is knock knock, who's at the door? That's the answer. <laughs> what is she Jesus! A woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Sad days. Oh man. See that like I remember uh some people would come to the stream and be like, oh well if you played Persona 4 already, why are you worried about spoilers? It's like because some people just don't know. And when you hear someone go, What the fuck is the answer? <laughs> you go, Oh, oh no. <laughs> you start losing your mind. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Mr. Teddy. He said that they're swimsuits. You gave up and went to see videos? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can get that, right? I can get that, but I think... I think someone like me who grew up with, like, playing... Like, fuck. How do I say it? How do I say it without sounding like a fucking elitist asshole, right? Because most people... Uh, in, like, the 90s and 2000s, they grew up with, like, I don't know, fucking, um, shit, I'm trying to think of some, damn it, <laughs> most people nowadays, they grew up with, like, Call of Duty and shit, and, like, maybe, in like, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City and all that shit, and those were, like, the only games people would ever talk about, but I grew up with playing, like, Final Fantasy and shit, right, so when I get to something like The Answer, you know, it's like, oh, I'm used to this, but at the same time, oh, why am I so used to this? <laughs> One day you'll get Ultimax. Swimsuit, of course. Dude, totally. Right now, Ultimax on Steam in the PS4. Uh, rollback for it is going to come out in, in uh, the summer, so the net code for, for online play is going to be great. But even if you don't... Even if you don't play fighting games online, it's just fun in general. Uh, there, it has a whole ass story for it, right? I believe the remaster that they did, well, it quote unquote remaster, it's just the upgraded version that they had in arcades in Japan, but I believe the re-release for it now also includes, um, it includes all the DLC, so that means that it also includes the Persona 4 Arena story, because there was Persona 4 Arena, and then there was Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. So it's like two, two stories in one. But Ultimax right now, it's like just buying it new. It's 30 bucks. If you got 30 bucks to spare, pick up Ultimax. It's great. <laughs> I love Ultimax. Still 21 euros. Oh, you're in Europe. Even with the discount. Okay. Really want them to announce P3 thing on stream to refresh your P3 time. Oh. I brought my own. <laughs> you were one of those raids with GTA. Well, I mean, like. I don't mean like because I played GTA as a kid too, right? But I mean like What's with these people? I mean like you would go to someone's house and it's like and it's like what games you got? Well, I got Mario Kart, GTA, Call of Duty, and maybe Need for Speed, and that's all they would have. And maybe like fucking Madden or 2K06. <laughs> not even 06, hey, fucking what, 04? Let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold like feet? my first, my first, Rise um, back out of a fight, you can't win. I'm trying, like, sometimes I get it mixed up because it's like a really, really long memory. Long memory, that doesn't make sense. A really, like, old memory. So I can't tell what my first game I ever played was, but it's either between Mario Kart 64 or, or, um, uh, a game on the PS2 based off of an anime and manga series known as Orphan. Some of you may know Orphan, it got, uh, in 2019, it got rebooted. 
I think. It got like a remake or something for the anime. But what is it called? Or it was called Orphan Something of Sorcery. I forgot what it was. But I remember playing that game as a kid, right? And then my mom would just watch me play the game, but it starts out with like a little kid cursing you out. <laughs> you call yourself an idol. But it was an RPG. Jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially It was an no RPG kid. and I had no fucking uh, memory card. <laughs> Jesus. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> Last time we played P3 was a year ago. Last time I played P3 was a year ago as well, but I did it because I knew one day I would either be recording it for a playthrough on YouTube or streaming it. So I played it and then I saved the file and I was like, this is going to be my new game plus. <laughs> take the crown you little snoring pig when it comes to recording and streaming games that i know well i don't want to say that i know because i don't really know shit but that i'm familiar with i always want to do my best to show as much as possible <laughs> snoring what are you oh talking years about? ago your like a long time is Ooh. <laughs> foul as your mouth and your brains is rotten to boot man don't give me about don't get me started about P3. I'll start fucking losing my mind about you, Kari. Jesus, fuck. Damn, I hate that. <laughs> I hate you, Kari. But I love her so much. But I hate her. But that choker is really nice. But I hate her. But she makes me mad in the right ways. Oh, useless. Me? <laughs> it's useless. Don't waste your energy. I know, right? It's like, oh, you Kari, fucking. You're so useless. You die all the time. But I love you. But I hate you. And you never listen to anything I say. I'm dying. You won't heal me. Well, my bad. Mitsuru won't heal me. And Yukari can't heal me because she's just dead on the floor all the time. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Oh, Junpei is useless? Actually, I used to think Junpei is useless. Last time I, last time I played, uh, my main team was Koromaru, uh, Akihiko, and Junpei. You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. The only problem is when, like, Junpei's using Blade of Fury when you don't want him to. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Junpei has a lot of problems. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, especially in P3 Portable. What? You're letting a girl be in charge? Shut the fuck up, Junpei. Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stay! and get our revenge for that how can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight i mean why wouldn't you use akihiko right i mean akihiko has a, uh, you know surprisingly akihiko the boxer is the one that has the most debuffs <laughs> on his like yeah. arsenal I mean, I always use Koromaru for the sake of, well, huh? because it's fucking Koromaru, so. Too? Why wouldn't you use Koromaru? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. Oh, and he does heal too, yeah. But he doesn't do mass heals. That's the problem. But I can, I can be the healer, right? You're not going anywhere. Damn, G.A. <laughs> <laughs> you decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. Kormaru gets like a bunch of fucking critical hits. I love him. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestant, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. It's pretty late for you, so you'll be heading to bed. Have a nice stream. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Don't worry. I, I tend to stream pretty late, so <laughs> that's why. You know, I expect people to hop in and dip out all the time, right? But thanks for stopping by. It's fun talking with people. I like it. I like it a lot.
Yeah, Chie! Do it, Coconut Head. We love you. Liar. It's steak. It was nice to meet me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's nice talking to you too. Thank you very much. Let me, let me rephrase that. Nice to meet you too. I felt the moment I felt that the moment I said that, I felt like it was when <laughs> when when you're in a relationship and someone goes, I love you, and they go, Yeah, it's fun hanging out with you too. <laughs> Another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi! Damn, Yukiko! Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. I love how Yukiko came on stage and she said, Hi, I'm Yukiko. Let me talk to you about Raycon earbuds. <laughs> yeah, all right, that'll do nicely. And the fucking announcer's like, all right, get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kuchikawa. been in town very long, but it's a great place, and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Alright, man, get your dick out of your hand. Fuck. <laughs> Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! I really don't like how Rize's just, you know, her, her just standing position, her default standing position is just, let me open my legs. Take up all she the space. Comes. Here she comes. Very promiscuous. Hey, shh. Pipe down. Yeah. Oh, the hat's off. Hi, I'm Naoto Shiragane. Damn right you are. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? <laughs> Damn, that's it! And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. <clears throat> I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? Hey, Chie, yeah? You fucking anybody? What? A teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Yuki, you ever locked lips with the devil? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I don't even got a smart reply for that. That's just weird. I, I beg your pardon? He said, can I tickle you? <laughs> can I stay at your house next time, Rize-chan? Hey, Rize, when the fuck you let me come over? What kind of a question is that? Hey, anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! Only in Japan! We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Only in Japan. They're in high school? Put them in swimsuits. <laughs> Ooh. 
the fuck, Yosuke? You sound like a dirty old man. Exactly. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Damn, Chie, you kind of built like a box. <laughs> she has no, like... No, like... No, no figure, I guess? I, I don't know how to explain it. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko Senpai. <laughs> Chie walking she out looking exactly like Kylo Ren. I she'd be. <laughs> like a fucking box. <laughs> Still love you, Chie. You're great. Rize horning out for everybody. She's used to it. Huh? Huh? Miss Nauto? She's not coming out. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Nauto won't be coming out for this portion. I was robbed, damn it. You robbed me! Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh well, I had a feeling that would happen. Don't worry now, Toe, you won't escape during dancing all night. Too we'll bad, get you then. Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Oh, I'm gonna close my damn eyes, I can't pick. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Who'd I pick? Yeah, she is pretty cute when you really look at her. Who? Who do we pick? Oh, we picked Chie. Fucking Chie, why are you winning? Damn it. This is what, her third time winning? Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! She might come out as best wife. You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner. Grand prize goes to... Miss Damn, Nauto. Androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Nauto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh, you think, well. Rize? <laughs> of course you didn't appeal to them. She came out and said, It's me, Reset. You all love me. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Jesus. <laughs> Miss Kachiwaki. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Neither can I. Hanako. Miss Kazuwagi. Listen, I don't do face cams, but if you can see my face right now, it is a it is a face of discomfort. <laughs> the Miss Yasugami high pageant has come to an end. Jesus fuck. There's the star of the video game. That's the reason why you play this game. Ah, good thing we found you. It's all for Nanako. Do it for her. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> can I? Damn right you can. Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. 
You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Oh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? What? No. Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Yeah, you can, man. Fucking hot springs, dude. Let's go. I want to spend the night. <laughs> hot springs, you cut off flushed skins. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. <laughs> uh, our inn is failing because of the murders. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh it off. Oh, okay. Might as well, then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Everyone will be staying at the Amagi Inn tonight. Damn, fucking just me just sitting here thinking about it, thinking about like an inn and hot springs and shit. It's like if I just didn't, if I didn't have something else to prioritize my life right now, all the money I saved up could have gone to like a three week vacation in Japan. Would have been awesome. Oh, we're in different rooms. Don't worry, I'll do it next year though. Well, I'll uh, head to Japan next year. That's in the cards for me. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away! Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're gonna do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Well, why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? You fucking dirty ass boy, Kanji. Yeah. If I could, I would live in the goddamn shower. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? I don't know if you think something happened, Yosuke. Just... Bring in a black light, check the sheets. Now that you mention it... The phone's ringing! Jeez, oh, that shit. freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. Oh, what are you freaking out for? Kanji, hands are shaking. Hello? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi Inn, great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? I don't understand it, right? Ah, fuck. I, like... Listen. I love taking a dip in a pool. I love having fun in the water. I love... I love jacuzzis and shit, right? Hot tubs and stuff like that. But whenever you're in the water with other people, it's just like... A part of my brain just goes... Man. One, I really hope everybody in this fucking pool clean today. And two... I'm just in a bath with my buddies. <laughs> like, that's what's happening? <laughs> oh, man. And especially after fucking uh, coronavirus and shit. You know, you just sit here and you're just like, Oh, I don't want to be in the pool. No, no more. <laughs> I just want to be by myself. <laughs> oh, man. That's a bathhouse, you idiot. Man, 
Everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. Teddy is gazing at you in gratitude. Hey, rank 8. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona. He now has Sir Karm, which is great. So let's just replace that. Come on! The elevator's here! There's plenty of room. I didn't want to talk during the cutscene, right? But like fucking <laughs> Oh those girls They can't help but touch each other And every single sound they make is very sexual in nature <laughs> I remember when I'm just walking around my house getting ready to hop in the shower I just you know walk in the bathroom I go uh uh <laughs> like what the fuck man Huh? Oh Okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um. Wow, it really is smooth. I used to think that shit like this only exists in like anime and, and dumb, like just pervy shit. But I remember one time in high school, I remember it. Very, very deep memory here. Where I was just hanging out with some friends and the girls started talking. And they were talking about letting each other borrow their fucking underwears and shit. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, no, come on. Are you serious? And they're like, yeah, it's not that it's, it's not that uncommon for girls to do that. And I'm like, you sure about that? <laughs> just just trading undergarments. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako chan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. At home, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. Damn, Nanako, you made it sound depressing. What the fuck? I'm always at home by myself until someone comes and tells me they love me. But don't worry, I'm good at being alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Wow, chick, can you sound more fucking condescending? Jesus. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side! Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk! I always thought saying the phrase fruit milk was like weird, but then I recently found out there was an Asian market near me like a year ago, so I go there uh, periodically, and they are literal, they're just, they're just cans imported from Japan or Hong Kong, and they just straight up just say fruit milk. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. I want lemon soda. 
And then there's like lychee milk as well. Lychee milk is really tasty. Uh, what? Me too? They also got like Ramune there and a bunch of other shit. Well, you're good. And yellow dragon fruits are in season. I tried a regular dragon fruit. I taste nothing from it. But yellow dragon fruit? Oh my god, that shit is so sweet. Ah. Oh. And Korean pears are delicious. Oh, what a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Ow! What the... Huh? Why are you guys here? That's my line. This is the worst possible situation. As the leader, you have to hold the damn line. You mustered up your courage and held your ground. <laughs> but when you think about it, does courage even does courage even matter in a situation like this? You gave the order to retreat. Retreat! It's an honest mistake. We're not gonna forget this! We'll have to punish them later! Wow, you got him good! It's nice to have a hot spring situation in your anime, but compared to Persona 3? Come on, man! The hot spring shit in Persona 3? Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! I don't know which one is better, Persona 3 FES or Portable? My aim's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Hey, at least Teddy was lucky. He got to he got he got a little little contact in there with Yukiko. Oh! It's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Oh, you guys are so fucking evil. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Fuck you, Rize. <laughs> Damn it. You changed it to your Yukata and returned to the room. You obtained bath towel. I'm out here just stealing towels from fucking hotels. I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. That's like when you go to the doctor's office, and like when no one's looking, you either steal you steal one of one of three things: you either steal a bunch of gloves, a bunch of napkins that they might have laying around, <laughs> or when, or if or if you're really lucky in the doctor's office, you can swipe a bunch of condoms and you just run out. <laughs> They're so evil. Evil, I tell you. <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kaji turns into fucking Beavis and Butthead, just like <laughs> you got lumps, man. <laughs> <sighs> fucking asshole. Hey, uh, guys. Did you, uh, see anything? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give me a second. Hold up. Um. Wait. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. I think my stream froze. Like on my end, I'm stuck on like the fucking uh, what's my call it? It says I'm still live, but looking at my stream, it's stuck on the goddamn uh, the group date cafe. So give me one second to fix this shit. <laughs> 